Hey everyone, so in my previous video I talked a bit about how we can use Laravel with a library called Suite Alert 2 to help make our validation a little more interesting. Now if we go back to our routes file we can see the validation we were doing and these are really just field errors and Laravel comes uh, out of the box with a lot of these that you can use and you can reference, see those referenced in the documentation. So here we are, uh, the Laravel 5.4 documentation. And if I go down to available validation rules, there are many to choose from, uh, whether it's the size of the input um, <clears throat> or if it's unique, uh, seeing, making sure it's an email address. Uh, you can scan through the documentations and see if uh, see how many of these you can use to help keep your um, your your logic tight. Now, with every application, there's going to be validation that needs to take place that is unique to the application uh, and specific to the business logic that's being applied. So how do we handle a case uh, like that? Maybe we um, are adding people to a list, but um, we want to make sure that the people are um, that are added uh, perhaps there's a limit of four people on the list and the people have to be confirmed and if they are unconfirmed we're only going to allow two different people on the list well situations like that are not going to be handled by uh, you know a string that you add to your validation rule list we need to do something else so how would we go about this if you go over over back to Laravel's documentation and let's go back to the top here it says manually creating validators and here it says the after validation hook so we've already done this piece here and this piece right here what I want to talk about is this piece right here that we can copy in directly into our application we are going to add a custom rule in addition to the two that we have after they are done so again, we are calling the after method and we're passing in an anonymous function and we're performing something else here. Now, I don't have this method created and I don't really wanna make this method. Um, so I'm just gonna add something that's always gonna fail. So if one does not equal three, then let's go ahead and fire uh, this validation error. In this case, I don't really want to uh, have any field associated with this. Uh, I'm going to instead just go ahead and type a custom message. Okay, so let's go back to our application and give it a shot. So I'm going to type in a name and give it an address. And if I click on submit, there it is. We have our the um, Sweet Alert 2 error message coming up uh, that we talked about in a previous video, and it's going to show our custom message that is going to in in a, in a real application would uh, validate some type of business logic there. So that's how we can use uh, Laravel's after method on the validator to hook up any custom validation that your application may require.